So if you want to improve your free kick, but there is no wall, what you're gonna do? I also have a solution. Hello guys, to another video. In this video, I show you eight low budget training material tips you can use to improve yourself. And you're gonna start with the first one. Yeah, for the first one, we have some pet bottles. I think everybody has some pet bottles at home. You can get it out of bin and get some air in again, and you can use it after it as pillows. Take it and pull it down. And if you want that the bottles are getting better hold on the bottom, you can put in some water. Yeah, it's so simple. Now you have a dribbling parkour. You can test, you can improve yourself by just dribbling. Yeah, try it by yourself and this is how you improve your dribbling. So for the next training trip, all you need is a backpack and some weight. You can use your bottles you use for dribbling, you can fill it up with water and so you can put them in and now you have some weight. You can practice with that, do some workout, get it on and now you have the opportunity to train with weight on your back. You can use it as well as a handle. So you can start doing like that and do some weight training. But yeah, if you want to improve your strongness on your legs, just do some exercise. You just simply can do some sprints and yeah. This backpack is a good opportunity. Be creative and do some stuff with it, use it as weight. And yeah, before we go to the next one, I need your help. Let me in the comment know what I can do on first try on the football field. Like do a first try, crossbar shooting from the midline or something. Because I want to do a video about where I try everything on first try. And yeah, leave a like and a comment on the video now so you can see it in the next video. And we go on for the next one. So as you can see, I already have two boxes. What are you gonna do today with this? We use it as jumping box. This improves your agility and you can get faster and faster with every jump. So you can do like uh, exercise like that. Go here, jump in the middle, jump outside, jump in again and yeah. So it looks like that. And yeah, you can try it by yourself what you want to try it. I think everybody got some obstacles like that at home. Just try it. As you can see, I already have two different heights. But it doesn't matter because yeah, you jump and then you do an exercise. You can even combine it with a sprint. So what I gotta do, I'm gonna jump in, out, in, out, in and then a sprint. So it looks like that. This was it about the jumping improvement. But wait until the end and see how crazy it gets. So we're gonna see the next one, let's go. Yeah, for the next one we have a simply wall. I have to put it in because every house has a wall. You can use it even at home. You don't even have to go on a football place. You can try it by yourself at home. You can improve your passing by this. Just go for it and passing. And even your first touch you can improve. So just use the wall simply like that. You can even improve both feet, so yeah. This is quite easy because, yeah, as I told, everybody has a wall at home. So we go on for the next one. For the next one, we have a tennis ball. With a tennis ball, you can simply improve your juggling skills. It don't need to be a tennis ball. You can use as well a small ball like other ones. 
but with this one you can practice your juggling very well and as well you can do it by yourself at home so yeah we're gonna start just starting juggling and if you struggle with that try with bigger balls and yeah so watch out that you have enough space as you can see it's very difficult but if you can juggle with a tennis ball, you got much better with the ball. So yeah, we get back to the field. Let's go. So for the next one, we have just simply lines. Try to use your lines you have on the football field. And you can use it to improve your stamina. For example, just start on the base or ground line. And then run until the end of the box. And back and again and again. You have some movement, but with stop and go. This is perfect for your football stamina. You need this and you could even combine this. Maybe you put on your backpack with the weights so it's even stronger. But what you have to do is just run. So we start with five meters, get back, get back to 60 meters and get back again. <coughs> so what it looks like, you go like that. And this stop and go is important for football. You need this and you improve as well your stamina and your sprint. And yeah, you can go on. So we come now to the crazy one for shooting. We go on, let's go. So as you can see, we are inside the goal. What are you gonna do? We used some duct tape. We put it in the top corners so you can improve shooting in the top corners but watch out the stick of this duct tape is most time very sticky so watch out that you can get it away so i put it now up one on the right one of the on the left side Right side is more difficult, but left side is possible. So just go on and try to hit the corners around about 60 meters. You can even shot from penalty if you want to improve that. So if you want to improve your free kick, but there is no wall, what we're gonna do, I also have a solution. And now you have a crazy wall, you can improve your free kick. And don't remove the duct tape because, so you have a reason why you have to shoot in the top corners. Oh my! But we're not finished after this crazy session. We have to remove everything, so put the goal away. And remove the duct tape because the next one is happy if you can train normally. So this was it about the low budget training material. If you have other ideas you do by yourself, let me in the comment know and let me in the comment know. I want to do a new video where I try everything on first try. So let me let an idea on the comments and maybe you comment will get in the next video. So if you enjoyed the video, like this video, subscribe now to don't miss any further videos. And if you want to support me, just follow me here. And if you want to see my latest video, just see it here and you're going to see you next time.